He thinks he can't go. Of course, Mr. Museven will go. There's no doubt about it. Because Mr. Museven was brought by the people. Mr. Museven, when you hear he went with 27 guns, he didn't have the power. He was housed by the civilian population. We were eating raw corn. When Obote's soldiers would pass, we would cover ourselves with dry banana leaves, a sanja. This is how weak Mr. Museven was. This means Uganda can heal. NRM itself needs salvation. The battles they have inside, I was inside there. We are more frightened than you people who are outside when we are in NRM and in that army. I spent five years in that army, I could never eat in a hotel. I could never attend a function and take a soda because I feared prison, uh, poison. MPs don't eat in their canteen. No. People don't drink water, even when they go to these big men's functions. Everybody carries his small water in his jacket. This is the country we are living in. Ask your ministers when they are called for state, for cabinet meeting. And you come and you tell us everything is okay. It is okay. It is okay when a member of the high command, when we are going to meet everybody, packs a chapati in the pocket. <laughs> hmm? From Busa. It means there is a serious problem in the past. It means there is a serious problem, which we need to resolve. But people do not understand that. They think everything. If the people, we who are inside the army, inside the cabinet, inside the parliament, cannot trust each other, you cannot serve me tea and I take it. Forget about other things. Then, then how can you build a country now? 